Hey, it's Kyle. And today I posted something on Facebook and I said something to the effect, and maybe I should pull it up so I can make sure I read it right, but I said, um, trying to fix a problem is one of the best ways to keep a problem going. Uh, pretty much everything knows how to heal itself, just get out of the way. And a lot of people gave me great comments and some people uh, didn't, you know, ask me about it. And so I wanted to honor for them and just kind of clarify what I mean. And this is based on only my experience. And I also want to say that everyone is in a different place in their life. So I honor where you are. I, I totally don't, I'm not trying to get my beliefs into you or say that way, but I absolutely have no problem saying what I mean and what my experience is. Um, <clears throat> because in my life, I have discovered that, first of all, one of the things that creates a problem is believing it's a problem. Like, yes, that person might have left you, or yes, you might have got fired, or yes, you might be broke. But the real problem is that you believe that shouldn't be the case. And a lot of times when that happens, we go to war with what is. And when we do that, our mind is in a fight or flight thing. So if you're broke and your mind's like, I got to make money, you're actually in a place where your creativity is cut off, your impact in the world, your greatness isn't happening because your one thing that you need is money. And I understand we still need to eat, we need to do the certain things, but a lot of times what we don't understand or what I've discovered for myself is when I'm in any panicky state in my head, I'm making that thing bigger than myself. And when I make myself bigger than any external thing, those other things as a byproduct come to me at just naturally. In other words, when I do nothing, um, I chill for a while. And what happens is the mind is panicking, panicking, panicking. Now, usually when the mind's panicking, we do something and we fix and when we fix, we're actually saying that the thoughts that are coming in are true. So let's say a thought comes up out of nowhere and it goes, nobody likes me. Now immediately I'm going to try to fix that if I don't know, if I don't have an awareness big enough, a thought could come in like I'm gonna go on stage and says, what if the crowd doesn't like you? Now sometimes a thought will show up for people and then they will try to like motivate themselves and get in a zone to fix the problem that came up. But the real issue is that we aren't noticing that this thought that came up might not be true. If you've ever worried someone had a thought about you and then later you talk to them about it and they're like, no, I didn't think that at all. That was because what you were thinking, people were thinking of you, wasn't true. But if you didn't know that, you would do everything you can to fix that problem. You would become smaller, you would become more apologetic, you would become uh, more of a people pleaser sometimes maybe. And when you do that, now they see you as, as this weird person that's pretending or playing or acting like they're not worthy. And that's when all of a sudden you actually do start to create a distance. And what I've discovered is some of my most insane, powerful sketch ideas that, that got millions and millions of views or ideas or ways to fill the Alex Theater or, you know, just came from doing nothing. Most of the time in the last year, I've done nothing. In fact, our career and the, the impact and the numbers that we have um, all went up 10 times as much in one year. And in this year, I also spent two hours a day just sitting and doing nothing. Now, that doesn't mean when I say problems will heal itself, that doesn't mean if you spill something on the floor uh, that you shouldn't clean it. That's a different thing. But most of our problems are us deciding something is a problem. But the truth is that's just the situation. So the situation might be they're talking crap about you. Now, the problem is when you get in resistance to that because what someone says about you has nothing to do with you. The situation might be you're broke. The problem is you've decided you shouldn't be broke. So you're trying to go fight to make money. So everything that's going on, if you just see it as the situation, then, and you accept it, then you don't move from a place of your mind, you move from a place of your body. When you accept it, that doesn't mean stay there. That doesn't mean if you're in an abusive relationship, accept it like stay there. But you can't fix something until you first acknowledge totally that it's happening. So when we're overweight, for instance, when we're in denial about that, we actually don't even just own, you know what, I'm overweight. 
And then we can create a new love for ourselves and a new acceptance for ourselves. And in that acceptance, we might feel connected to ourselves and we might not do things as addictively like overeat when we finally feel okay with what is. In fact, most of our addictions happen when we're in an argument with what is, when we're trying to fight what is. So there's a million things going on on the planet, for instance, that we could be really mad about. Right now, I'm not saying that I want those things to be there. There are horrible things happening and there are so many situations that I could think about and tear up immediately. But my worst service to that situation would be for me to be in resistance to it. What I need to do, first of all, is accept it so that the best me can come through and create a new solution and a new world that is different. Because when you finally are in a place of full acceptance of yourself, new conscious levels show up, new ideas show up on a higher plane. But you can't get there while you're in denial that that's there. So if you're in a denial about something, you're actually continually arguing and fighting with what is, and you're cutting yourself off from the part of you that can absolutely create a whole new situation that would be in a world where that problem isn't even existent. So I know I've used this example in a video before, but I wanna do it again. My favorite sentence ever I've ever heard in transformation, I think came from Michael Beckwith, and it was, when you have any problem, ask yourself, what is trying to emerge out of me to have this problem? So let me explain that. So if a caterpillar is walking on a stick, right, and it sees a wall, now I'm, I know I said this in another video, so I'm sorry, but it came up again, so I'm gonna just say it here because it's really important. So and it sees a wall here. Caterpillar sees a stick coming off a wall, right? And it's just like, oh, I can't go anywhere. The victim caterpillar would go, okay, there's a stick here, we can't do this. The achiever caterpillar would go, we're gonna go over the stick, let's make it happen. And that's like that football team, like let's do this, let's push through, cool. The what's trying to emerge caterpillar, the third one, sees it and goes, okay, there's a stick here. That means there's something that I'm supposed to become that I've never been before, but I actually am. And I don't know what it is, but I'm just gonna sit and wait. So a caterpillar actually sits on the stick and chills, and maybe it takes 11 days of sitting there, but eventually it becomes something bigger than it ever knew that it was, and it becomes what it actually is. It always was a butterfly, it just started out in a caterpillar's body. So then it becomes a butterfly. In that same way, you have this. Let's say you have someone talking crap about you. Okay, you're walking on the stick. The victim you goes, I'm gonna just avoid them. The achiever you goes, I'm gonna prove to them that they're wrong. The what do I need to learn you goes, okay, so they're talking this stuff about me. I'm just gonna sit and wait and wait and wait. And what'll happen is these thoughts will come up. Okay, that person's saying this, that person's driving me nuts, that person, whatever, and all these thoughts come up. And you start to eventually realize you're just looking at your thoughts and your perception of that person is in your head. It has nothing to do with them. And then you start to have revelations like what they think about me has nothing to do with me. It has to do with their life and their problems and their stories and all this stuff. So then you start to create a new level of compassion for them. Maybe compassion was trying to emerge out of them talking crap about you. So then you start to have a whole new you that realizes what people think about you has nothing to do with you. And you actually wire your body differently and realize someone's opinion of me has nothing to do with me. And you move to a whole new place where all of a sudden you can move forward in your life and create new careers and everything from a place where you don't care what people think about you. Now you can create one of the greatest businesses in the world. But you had to have those people talk crap about you to trigger you into learning this newer thing that you actually are. So that's what's trying to happen. So I realized that instead of trying to fight and prove and make them to understand what my point was and get them to like me again. Instead, I just connect with myself and ask what is trying to emerge like I learned from Michael Beckwith. What's trying to emerge out of me? I'm trying to connect with myself. I'm trying to be a place of love. I'm trying to learn patience. I'm trying to learn compassion. And then all of a sudden you start to forgive that person and you start to forgive yourself from your past. And then you start to walk life from this new place of self-connection. And every time you feel triggered, you just go, okay, I'm just gonna do nothing for a while. And you learn that the trigger only triggered a part of you that you still had lingering in your body that you don't like about yourself. And when you love it, it can go away. So that's what I mean by trying to fix a problem keeps the problem going. It keeps acknowledging there's something there. So when you have anxiety, what if you just sit with the anxiety for a while and don't judge it versus going, I keep having anxiety and bringing more anxiety into the anxiety. So that's what I meant by that. So it's good to be talking to you guys again. Have a great day.